Now let's get started in chapter 7 on arrays. Before we start the slide, I'm going to show a very simple example to use array. Let's move to the code studio. Okay, now let's make a very simple example for integer and character values. Here I declare the integer array with 10 elements. And then I'm going to make a for loop to print integer array values. And then compile and run this program. When we declare the array, we use the bracket after the array name. And also, you want to give the initial value. You can give the initial value inside of brace. And if we want to access each element in array, we need to use the element index with the array name. Now let's make another example with the character array. I will declare the character arrays with 12 characters and then compile and run this program. Similarly, the character array will be used in the same way as the integer arrays. And then I'm going to make a statement to check the size of each array. I will use the function size of to check each array. And we can see the each size of array. The first image array has 40 bytes and second character array has the 12 bytes. Because the integer array has 10 elements and each element requires 4 bytes because of integer. And then character array has 12 elements and character requires 1 byte, so character array has the 12 bytes. Now let's take a look at the definition of arrays. Array is a variable that stores multiple values with one data type. And also, all values in array are stored in consecutive memory locations. In this example, we declare the integer array with four elements. This array requires the consecutive 16 bytes from the starting address. In this example, we assume that the starting address is 100. Thus, we use the memory space from the 100 to the 116 bytes. The reason why we use the consecutive memory space is to have the ability to access the certain element with the index calculation. For example, the third element address can be calculated by the starting address plus the size of bytes multiplication by the index number. So this is the reason why we use the consecutive memory space for array. This slide shows an amount of memory used by an array. In this example, we declare short integer array with six elements. Short integer requires two bytes, and we have six elements. So this array requires 12 bytes. At this time, we acquire 12 bytes, but this amount of memory space is not initialized. The table 7-1 shows more examples when we declare arrays with the various types.